Hi, this is Dean Takahashi from VentureBeat. I'm here with uh, Chris Holmes from Meshin, the CEO. And um, tell us uh, what Meshin is. Uh, you've got a very interesting way of uh, redoing email. So Meshing is a startup at Park, we're funded by Xerox, and we're using semantic technologies to help people find information in their communication streams. Uh -huh. And we're starting with Outlook as the first stream to follow. Uh -huh. um, and uh, semantic, uh, help us uh, understand what, what so is semantics semantic. semantics means natural language processing. So uh -huh. essentially, we're different from people who are applying some management tools for email, because we understand the content of the information flowing through your communication streams. Uh -huh. We recognize the people, the places, and the companies the topics being discussed. Uh -huh. So think of us as a semantic web uh -huh. in communication streams. Uh -huh. So let me show you what we're doing here. Uh, sure. So I want to do a search. Screen here. So, so I should say meshing um, mm -hmm. installs as an Outlook sidebar, uh -huh. which you're seeing on the screen here. Uh -huh. um, and I'm going to do a, a search. This is a fairly common search um, approach. And you notice with keywords, we can get lots of results by keyword searching. Including in our case, across our RSS feeds that we're supporting in here, and the messages. But more interestingly, because we're using natural language processing, we recognize that Park, and it's Park's 40th celebration today, is actually a company. So this interface is, is actionable, and by clicking on Park, it now provides us essentially a company dossier of all my communications, in this instance with Park. So uh, a bunch of things just fi filled out in this, this window. So, they, so our application now groups all the people that we've I've had communications with inside Park, all my communications, all my conversations, any attachments have been sent or received, as well as um, going to the web and doing some searching. So now we can find um, so all this information is, is navigatable and previewable. So as I mentioned, it's Park's 40th today. Here is just a quick blog search of what's happening in Park at the moment. So as a salesperson, if somebody calls them on the phone, they can quickly contact Shift and see all their communications with that organization, as well as find some up-to-date information that may be happening on the web. So they're quickly brought up to speed. So what, what are some of the limitations of email right now? Um, and there, there are different sort of email helpers out there like Zopni, I guess, right? Yeah. So uh -huh. the, the applications that are helping Outlook perform better uh -huh. um, are providing essentially the ability to, to organize your information in the context of just your contacts. Uh -huh. So they're essentially contact management systems. Uh -huh. Where meshing goes beyond that um, is we actually are providing con the contextual views of not just your contacts, or your communications with the contact, but with the organizations they they work for. Mm -hmm. So, as I mentioned, if you're on the telephone and a company call, and an individual calls you, you can quickly see what's the latest communication conversation with that company, uh -huh. as well as that individual. Mm -hmm. I jump to our screen, we're leaving communication, the, the company view, and now we're going to look at my dossier around one particular individual. So if I forget who he is, and uh, I can quickly find out I can, while I'm I, can, phone. I can get his contact <laughs> details, I can see my upcoming appointments, uh -huh. I can see all my conversations. Uh -huh. Now where meshing gets, certainly gets very interesting mm -hmm. in, con uh, in comparison to competition mm -hmm. is because we understand the meaning of the information flowing through your systems, we can relate it to other messages about the same subject, not necessarily the same person, but with the same keywords. Uh -huh. This is an example of a pre, uh, an email that's been sent uh, from my assistant regarding pre-approval of some travel I'm taking uh, later in the year. Uh, Meshin has automatically discovered three related conversations, not part of this conversation, but are related because they're around the similar subject. What I'm really interested in knowing is, has, has this tra trip been approved yet? So the first message it's found actually is another pre-approval to a different destination later in the year. But here we go. And your CEO could say you're traveling too much this year, so cut it out. I'm traveling in budget. Uh -huh. <laughs> but here we found a separate conversation that approves my travel. Uh -huh. So now 
we can start to discover information contextually. Mm -hmm. Not requiring the use to search, but mm -hmm. automatic meaning-based search. Mm -hmm. That's the direction that meshing is taken, and that's where our disruptive technology separates us from the competition. So everybody's life is getting so complicated here that simple keyword searches just aren't good enough, I guess. It's no longer good enough, because mm -hmm. as we are looking at more communication streams, mm -hmm. not just email, but Twitter, mm -hmm. and Facebook, and LinkedIn to communicate with people, um, it becomes impossible to search across all those streams effectively. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to do that for you in one consistent way, in context, so you get the right information you need at the right time. Great. Thank you very much, Chris.